start up Soul Calibur, the game calls itself a tale of souls and swords, endlessly retold. Trying to make itself sound like an awesome eternal story instead of just the same characters doing the same things over and over again. <laughs> Remember that? Cool. So, back to that. The most relentlessly non terminating piece of pop culture is the closing theme to Lamb Chop by a <laughs> There actually was a story here once, a story that defined the whole culture and that has been plagiarized for television at least twice. At this point, however, the entire X-Men creative process is predicated on the idea that X-Men is never, ever going to die. And I don't mean the franchise, I mean that each individual X-Men is now effectively immortal. If they do die, they inevitably come back to life, or at worst, are replaced by a different mutant with identical powers and the same name. <laughs> the Jean Grey, my god. Here we have a character whose very concept requires her to die and come back to life. But remember that the comic has to keep going, with every character staying basically the same. Wolverine needs to be a badass loader, Cyclops needs to be a tool, and Jean Grey needs to die. Over and over and over again. There's no way the reader can find any sort of pathos for her at this point. Fuck, the characters have been cracking jokes about it for years. And with ordinary X-Men the thing gets boring, Marvel assumes that the best traditions of fanfiction.net, the same story will be interesting if they rewrite it in a different setting. For example, these are the X-Men in Elizabethan England. And here they are eating brains. And here they are in a dystopian future. And here they are as babies. <laughs> Exploring the ultimate sexualities of characters nobody likes anyway. 